Honestly, the internet never lets anything go. It's gonna keep looming around influential figures bringing up old stuff again and again. In fact, this time everyone's suddenly concerned about Harry Styles' sexuality? Debating whether he's queer baiting, and that raises the question, is he really holding back progress? After his recent magazine interview, he opened up about a few controversies and made some comments which may have annoyed a few people. First off, Harry's got some answers to all the fiery questions. Being on the spotlight for over a decade can really take a toll on your personal life, and the British superstar talks about the impact it's got on his sexuality and privacy, especially after his most recent feature in Rolling Stone. We all know that he's been accused of queer Baiting. But the mega pop star notes that even after his love life and sexual identity, which isn't really everyone's business, were questioned and picked apart for years, he's never really gone public with a partner. At the same time, some people say he was definitely seen publicly with women, but Styles Trill says for him, he hasn't been in public with anyone. In fact, he said that if someone takes a picture of you with someone, it doesn't really mean you're choosing to have your relationship go public or something. So that makes sense, because if you really think about it, he never came out to tell the world about his love life and sexuality, and it's always been the media taking pictures and twisting headlines to create some juicy content which isn't always true. Now Harry has been dating Olivia Wilde for almost two years or so, and in his interview he talked about how he tries to set boundaries between his personal life and public life. At the same time, people tend to blur the lines for you, as he says. Up next, privacy can be really complicated for Harry. In fact, with all the attention from the media, along with the existence of social media and how easily content can go viral, he says the privacy can become much more complicated. Plus, when discussing his role in the upcoming film, My Policeman, Harry shared that everyone, including himself, has their own journey and is trying to figure out their sexuality and get more comfortable with it. Now, it's not the first time Harry opened up about his sexuality and why he's never labeled himself publicly, because once he does that, it's permanent in the eyes of the internet and there's no going back unless you want to dig up some controversy for yourself. So, however things may be, he wants to be careful with his words, which is honestly a good move. In fact, back in April, the former boy bander spoke to Better Homes and Gardens on the subject and talked about his experience working through dating and other love stuff with a therapist right at the start of the COVID pandemic in 2020. He says that for the longest time, it felt like the only thing that was really his was nothing other than his sex life. And sadly, he felt so ashamed about it at the idea of people knowing he was having sex and who he was alone with. Clearly, the lack of privacy was too much for him. Moving on, the public eye always raised a lot of questions and privacy concerns for the singer. Now, clearly, everyone keeps tabs on almost every aspect of his life since he first rose to fame back in 2010 as a member of One Direction. Also, the carefully hand-picked pop band on the talent show X Factor quickly found millions of adoring fans who wanted to know everything about the band members. Zayn Malik, Niall Horan, Louis Tomlinson, Liam Payne, and of course Harry Styles. Back in the day, there were still the kiss and tell things that went on, so working out who he could trust was pretty stressful. Now, after all the mess he's talked about, it's understandable why the star chose to be private about his relationship with Wilde. Because when he went public with the filmmaker, the internet went crazy with rumors, many of which were even downright hateful and intrusive, and all of them targeted Styles' sexuality and dating life. Since the press circuit for his sophomore album, Fine Line, the Watermelon Sugar singer has been seen loving sports dresses after gracing the cover of Vogue in a gown back in 2020. Along with that, he's also been seen adopting an overall more traditionally feminine coded style. In fact, in 2021, he even launched his own brand, Pleasing, which has become pretty popular because of the singer and the variety of pearly nail polish shades. With that said, people can't help but make assumptions after Harry's support for the LGBTQ plus community. Now, there are a lot of artists who publicly support the LGBTQ plus community as they should, but people have a lot of questions when it comes to Harry. The singer has been frequently seen waving pride flags during concerts and donating to charities that support the queer community. And we're also talking about the time he headlined Coachella earlier this month back when he grabbed a bisexual flag from the crowd. Adding to that, the singer is pretty secure about his undisclosed sexuality, saying that all the speculation is simply outdated. In fact, he says that he's really open about it with his friends, but that's his personal experience and not open for public discussion. Also, the whole point he's been building up on is that we need to accept everybody and be more open-minded. Clearly, there's no need to label every single thing and clarify what boxes we're checking. Now, pointing out previous events back in September 2013 in an interview with British GQ, Styles was pretty sure he wasn't bisexual. 
But then again, it's been a decade since that, and a lot of things tend to change. At the same time, the internet holds on to all of these interviews and appearances. To sum up everything he said and created a catchy headline that may or may not be true. And we can't help but hope for a more accepting, open, and label-free future for the singer. Now, let's talk about some of his comments about in cinema. In his recent interview with Rolling Stone, Styles made a few comments saying that a lot of the in movies is simply two guys going at it. In fact, he adds that it kind of removes the tenderness from it. And this was a reference to his starring role in My Policeman, which is an upcoming film about a closeted policeman back in the 1950s. Now, most people have responded to these remarks with the same amount of thoughtfulness and respect you'd expect, which is simply none. Responses to the interviews and all follow-up articles were full of angry people calling out Styles for cosplaying as a queer. While others blamed him for profiting from queer aesthetics and many mocked his thoughts on gay sex. In fact, in a tweet, Benjamin Butterworth responded, quote, Harry Styles needs to stop cosplaying as gay. Quit toying with us and our experience for your own commercial exposure. Now isn't that something we've seen before? It's like every few months, Harry gets dressed up for a random photo shoot and is inevitably questioned about his sexuality in the next interview. Usually, you'll see him giving the same answer, that he's still figuring out things on his own and doesn't want us to use labels. Then again, even that provokes a polarized reaction. You'll see a family of defenders coming to support his rights to explore and define his identity however he wants, while others consider his approach pretty harmful or exploitative. Having said that, his repetitive answer is really starting to trigger everyone's curiosity. Now social media discourse tends to go in waves. There comes a topic, everyone talks about it and gives their opinion, and then something else happens and the dominant point of view is challenged. And this cycle's gonna repeat until something else comes up. Hold up, when it comes to Harry, there's no moving forward. A part of the reason is that he isn't saying anything new. It's pretty clear that a definitive statement labeling himself is gonna move things along. At the same time as it is his right, he doesn't seem to give everyone the definitive answer they want. And the ambiguity has created a vacuum where people create their own story of his sexuality and try to project it on him. A lot of them include accusations and whatnot, so basically every word he utters now is gonna be viewed under one of those opposing prisms and further dissected in detail. Now, Harry is stuck in a place where people don't consider him queer enough to speak on LGBTQ plus issues. Usually when he talks in broader terms rather than his own personal experience, and while he doesn't believe in labels, it's also understandable that people found a sense of security and identity in labels, who might be irked by such blanket statements from someone who hasn't confirmed his sexuality. Simply put, labels work for some people and not for others. Either way, it's not that simple. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think it's time everyone left Harry Styles' sexuality alone and moved on to something else? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.